Hello again, welcome to Tuesday, and you know what that means for James Watches. It's time to start a brand new series. Now, I thought, why not dedicate the whole of Tuesday, every week, the, the whole segment, to Doctor Who. So, this is the inaugural episode of James Watches Doctor Who. And... I thought we should go right back to where it all started on the 23rd of November 1963. The first ever story with the first ever Doctor. You know what I'm talking about. It can only be this story right here. That's right, guys, an unearthly child. Let's kick this series off in style, shall we? So, let's get started, shall we, guys? Now. My mistake. <laughs> um, we are actually going to go for the televised version. That was the pilot version. So, guys. A bit more information about this now coming up. But this episode actually had to be rebroadcast a week later. Due to um, a little thing called... The Kennedy assassination, which happened on the same day this episode was supposed to go out, and so no one watched it on its initial broadcast day. So Verity Lambert, the producer, said that the first episode had to be shown again before the second episode. Now this DVD actually has the pilot version of the episode on there too, which is slightly longer and a bit different in turn. So, this episode is the show, is the one that first introduced us to the Doctor, played by William Hartnell, Susan Foreman, played by Carol Ann Ford, Ford, Barbara Wright, played by Jacqueline Hill, and Ian Chesterton, played by William Russell, who's still very much an active part of the show. And so, here we go now. I actually became a fan of this in 2006, the actual whole thing itself. I didn't see any classic episodes also until then but yeah you know but I don't think I saw this particular episode until way into my Doctor Who fandom years so we've opened on Cole Hill School intrigue as Susan causes, there's also a level of mystery around her and her grandfather. So Barbara and Ian are now in the classroom talking after school. Okay, Susan's not an ordinary girl, as a matter of fact, uh, as the synopsis actually clearly says, Susan Foreman is a mystery to teachers Ian Chesterton and Barbara Wright, seemingly knowing more than she should about the past and the future. Their curiosity leads them to follow her home one night, only to find that her home appears to be a deserted junkyard. And I'm not going to read any more of that. Piece the rest of it together. 
for yourselves. So, um,
should be asking you. <laughs> yes, it is where she lives. Got a problem with that? Which they obviously do. So. Put it bluntly, that's exactly what they did. So yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching.